So you've been asked without a calculator about the domain and range and a bunch of information about this square root function. So your brain should be screaming, I'm going to do something to the square root. What am I going to do with it? Well, what makes this 0? Negative 2. So I'm going to go 2 left. I'm going to go up 1. That's where I start. And this negative will reflect about the x-axis, just like it does with our trig graphs and everything else. So we're doing this. And so our domain is everything greater than or equal to negative 2. You could also have written it like this, though I asked for an inequality notation. What is the range? Everything below 1. So I would say y is less than or equal to negative 1, because we do include positive 1, excuse me. We include the vertex. Over which interval are we decreasing? Over the entire domain, so that's the same as part 1. x is greater than or equal to negative 2, because we're always decreasing. What is the maximum value? Well, it's right there, 1. So either y equals 1, or better yet, just 1, because that's the maximum value. All starts with your graph, though, making sure you know what the square root looks like, and then you can transform it.